Hi. Welcome to Induction Cooking with John. I, today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade lasagna with fresh noodles, fresh sauce made from uh, whole tomatoes and vegetables. And um, it sounds difficult, but it's really not. And it's actually pretty fast and easy. So let's get started. We started some water here on the induction cooktop. Uh, I'm going to put quite a bit of salt. This is going to be to boil the pasta and we'll build the lasagna in this Pyrex dish. Right here. Uh, <clears throat> first we want to get everything started. You know, the, the sauce, which I've already made and that I have some on the stove right here. And I'm going to use, try to use up everything in my fridge that I really want to kind of get uh, get rid of that would go good in lasagna. Like, for instance, here's some spinach. Delicious. I've got some eggplant, which I'll slice thin and maybe boil with the pasta. Um, uh, as I say, I already have sauce here. I want a little more meat in my lasagna, so I think what I'll do is um, I will take a separate pan and ground some ground beef with some a couple more onions. I'll go ahead and move this salt off so I can heat this pan up. And I'll go ahead and cut these onions and brown this. I'm not going to use too many because there's a lot of onions in the sauce already, so... Just a couple of onions. Soft. And I'm going to get hot. Be careful, as always, with your induction cooktop that you don't ruin your cookware. Uh, hardly ever do you really want to uh, Okay, I've uh, browned the meat nicely. I had uh, sauce, which I added to it also. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Um, so, you know, what I'm forming is a sauce that's the basis of lasagna. I had made uh, in a separate video showed how to make sauce out of fresh tomatoes and I actually froze that and used a bunch in here. I also have some fresh sauce that I just made right here. So in any case, get that base going. You want it nice and hot. Now we're going to do the pasta um, to put the lasagna together. Um, I'll clean my table surface off. Um, before that, one thing you need to do is get your ricotta together. And it's nice to put a little seasoning, some salt, and some uh, egg in it to, to give it some body. So, okay, here's two pans of ricotta cheese and some eggs. And mixing bowl. Let's see. You always want to taste everything as you go after each part of the. Ricotta will keep quite a while in your fridge, so you can buy it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, into it. I'll do with the ricotta is stir in some spinach. I've got some spinach right here, so I'm just going to break some of that off and rinse it and stir that right into the ricotta. You're probably aware that 
something about spinach and peas just goes good. It's so great. All right, so do that. Cheese and some eggs. Use a bigger bowl. And you want a little salt. Okay, so that's going to be kind of a glue that's going to hold together our lasagna. Sauce is looking good. It's uh, boiling pretty nice, and I put those peppers in there. Oh, it smells great. Uh, it's a little watery, so I think I'll leave it cooking. Um, as always, moisture control is so important in all of your cooking. Uh, <clears throat> too much moisture or too little moisture can absolutely uh, ruin a dish. One of the primary things you you are responsible for as the cook is to get that moisture content just right if you can. You know, a little more, a little less. But okay, let's go ahead and turn the heat up on this. I'll be watching it. Uh, I could put a little more spinach in here. Mm, but spinach is so tender. And I'm not going to worry at all about uh, cooking it. I do have some eggplant, which I might cook, boil a little bit. I'll go ahead and restart my water. And off. Okay, so we're getting close. I'm going to go ahead and push this aside. Make the pasta. You want a nice dry uh, table surface. This is a marble table. I wouldn't need too much space, but you do want to dry it off if you can. And we'll use some flour on it. The press is nice and clean. Uh, here's the fun part. <clears throat> now take some flour, put my nice salt book down, and you can use a spotted spoon and dust your surface with a little bit of flour. As you make the pasta, you're going to use quite a bit of flour. This is the pasta dough which you see I already stole into, so I hope I have enough left to make the whole lasagna. But I had made it yesterday, and I like to put it in a flat bag like this and pop it in the fridge. And it needs the pasta dough really kind of needs the rest. And all the pasta dough is is flour and eggs. In my case, I added some beans to add nutritional content. But get you some pl plenty of flour on it. And I like to use a pizza wheel. I like to use a pizza wheel to help cut it and you know, keep your hands nice and dry. Use plenty of flour, as I say. We're just going to make some strips. Ooh, like I say, I hope this is enough to make a whole lasagna out of. Goodness, it's going to be tight. Okay, so start out on number one. We're going to roll it through. One strip at a time. And you can see how that makes quite a bit. I'm going to get me some pretty big slices here. Eh, you don't want to go too big because, uh, yeah, then they're, they, they're hard to boil and keep them from sticking together. Okay, so, 
Now that's, keep in mind, this is just number one. You can, in fact, this pot to go will probably be enough because it's pretty thick. You want to do your press. Alright, let's get some slices going. Like that. And now I, I can jump with this dough. If it was at all a problem, you could jump one at a time. But I'm going to go ahead and move up to at least three. I'll do this in. I'm impatient. I'm going to get this done because I'm hungry. And I could actually just probably go on to four if I really wanted to. Yeah. So, you know, go ahead and get your go ahead and get your water boiling when you get to this point because you're gonna be wanting to throw this in soon. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start building. I'm gonna take my pan, dust it out, make sure it's nice and clean. some of the salt right onto the bottom of your pan. Now this is pretty liquid, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to add a little other salt to it. You know, the peppers are not really cooked that well. You can cook this down a little bit more for sure. But again, we're not going to worry too much. Hey, it's just good, right? And it, but it's clean. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to it, too. You want enough sauce when you make lasagna. Just drip on your sauce. Oh, see down there's some thickness. And that's plenty of meat. So my water is boiling real nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it on four. I'm going to run through my final slices here and then see how thin they get. And I can go ahead and drop those right into the water as I make them. The water is salted. Uh, try not to get them to stick too much together. And you know, do three or four slices, uh, big, big pieces at a time. The homemade pasta does not have to cook very long. So, you know, this is the absolutely the most convenient way to uh, make lasagna. This is more convenient than dry noodles are. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a bit. I'm going to leave that and go for now. I think that's enough. They've got eggs in them, and, and you know, uh, about all that needs to happen is that the eggs need to kind of cook. And, you know, you're going to be continuing to cook this anyway, so, you know, you don't have to worry too much. Whatever you have. Okay, I see that piece right there. I'm just going to put that in the bottom of my... Just lay it in there on top of the sauce. Another nice big piece. Here's one. Mm -hmm. Be perfect. I'm going to get this piece out here. Boy, this is a doozy right here. Oh, get in there. Mm -hmm. Got it tight. No, no perfect way to do this. Okay, it is kind of wet. That's okay. Okay, so we got our first layer of of, uh, I'm going to dispense with using tools, I think. Um, okay, so we got the first layer of meat and pasta. Now I'm going to put my cheese on next. And some spinach. And then there. And Ok, 
Okay, now I've got some eggplant I want to use up. So I'm going to uh, use a very, very thin slice on the mandolin. And I'm just going to slice this eggplant so thin that I'm not even going to bother to boil it because it's just, it's just very tender, like the pasta. Um, it'll cook when we cook the lasagna in the oven. So I'm going to put some slices in there like this. And we can spread them out. Now, you might keep in mind that these vegetables are not seasoned, so you might want to sprinkle some salt as you go because you don't want the um, final product to taste bland. You, you certainly can salt the top of it after you're done, so you want the seasonings to go through. Mm, don't over salt it, but do get some salt on there. Okay, so there's the cheese. I'm going to put a little more meat. And of course the peppers. Um, let's see what else. Uh, now, so for some mozzarella and parmesan. Don't forget that. And this is all what makes it good. Okay, I'm cutting board over here. I don't have a whole heck of a lot of space. But enough. I'm going to cut into this and I'm just going to break pieces of this. Again, taste and test to make sure everything is good as you go. Look. Yes. Mmm, it's only needs a lot of cheese. I'll use that up. I'll be great some more. Okay, now we're ready for another another run of uh, pasta. So let's cook that up. One. See, we're going to have enough pasta because I'm using a lot of vegetables here. So I'll use some three, four. Very good. Made it to three, but we're using them anyway. Uh, uh, there's our little thin side to side. I'll put it back down three. Three and four anyway. But if you make your pasta well, then you don't have to so much worry about. Um, but I like to keep it a little dry and let it. Let it um, get a little softer in the fridge. And I'll show how quick and easy it is to make homemade pasta in another video. To this I've added some beans actually to add nutrition and it uh, reduces the amount of eggs you have to use and it's very tasty. And it looks kind of like the those fancy lampshades that you get at Target. All right. That up a little bit. My sauce is continuing to thicken, which is good. There's a lot of meat in there, so I'm going to use that meat up along with the Parmesan. This one, we're almost good. My tongue. Careful, don't let your pasta stick together too much. Okay, here's the. You know, you, you really can't mess this up too bad. Hurry here. Mm 
fill in around the edges, whatever you need. Uh, see, there's an overlap right there. I'll just cut. I used to have tough hands for this. Okay, so, boy, I mean, I'll tell you what, that's looking awfully a lot like the top layer, but I think I'll try to do one more. I got a couple more pieces of pasta. I might use, oh gosh, I'm going to try to use this cheese up, I guess. Wow, this is going to be a big full lasagna. Okay, let's get this cheese on here. Might as well use it off. Boy, this is going to be, oh, this is going to be good. Alright. I'm making mud pies here. Okay, so as you top off the lasagna, you know, what you want to do is kind of finish off your ingredients. Yeah, it's okay to have some extra of most of this stuff because you can put it in the fridge and use it later. But, you know, I try to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use off. Let's see. Well, that's pretty full as it is. If I just put mozzarella... I'm going to go ahead and do one more layer, even though it won't cover completely, but... Let's see how it goes. One more layer. Um, you know, because there's so much vegetables in here, I just want it to be a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit more, uh, oh boy, if you don't, if you tear your pasta a little bit, who cares, it's all going to the same place, it is a little hot to work with, ow, yeah, I'm just going to put that on top, oh god, I really tore it, problem. It's problems. Alright. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now the very top of it, I am going to use some of the sauce that I made before. Pretty loose sauce here, because I don't want that pasta to dry out too much. So I'm going to use some off on top and even let it go down into it. You don't want it spilling over, of course. Okay, so I'll let it go at that. And I'm going to put some more mozzarella. I've only used about eight ounces of mozzarella. The more meat, you know, but it doesn't matter exactly how much you use. You can use more or less according to your taste. All right. Well, maybe a little more than eight ounces. Okay, and I'm going to shave some Parmesan on it. And I think we're good to bake it. Yeah. That's a nice big lasagna. I don't actually cover, you know, a lot of recipes call for covering it with aluminum foil or something. I just bake it, you know, keep it nice and loose so that um, you don't have to uh, put parmesan on top. Um, you know, I, I this is pretty liquid, so it, it could always solidify a little more in the fridge if you need if it needs to or as it sits. Okay. Some yeah, after just a few minutes of cleanup, we're ready to go again. And here's the finished lasagna. Well, not finished yet because it's got to bake. I've um, heated the convection oven to 350. It's uh, warming up now. We'll bake it for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes, and until it's done. Uh, watch the cheese. Watch the moisture content. And you're good to go. Okay.
Okay, here's the finished assembled lasagna, and the oven is pretty much heated, and in the oven it goes. I'm thinking like maybe a half an hour or something like that. Most everything in it's cooked. Um, uh, take a look at it, see that the cheese on top is is brown, and it uh, look if you go by your nose a lot of times because lasagna it smells like it's really getting done. So I'm going to consider taking it out. Uh, it looks kind of good. It smells good. So let's see what we got. Way it's heated through. Okay, well, it's great on top. Well, okay, here it is. I think that's pretty good enough for me. A little piece. Uh, yeah, I like the. You know, you could do it more or less juicy. Mm, not bad. All right. Looks like almost edible. Hmm. Pretty good.